Hello everyone. Welcome to SG Tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to explain about what is multiple inheritance, why Java doesn't support multiple inheritance and then how we can achieve multiple inheritance in Java. And I will explain all the points in simple way. So don't skip the video, just keep watching till end. Okay. And for more help, you can refer my notes that I have mentioned in the description of this video. So let us start our discussion with what is inheritance. I will explain inheritance in short because I have already made separate video on inheritance and types of inheritance in detail. And link has been mentioned in the description of this video. Okay. So inheritance is a mechanism in which one class can inherit properties or behavior that is variables and methods from another class. Same as that of father and son relationship in which son receives or inherits properties and behavior from his father. Similarly, if we think technically, iPhone 1 class inherits properties and behavior from phone class. So basically, to receive or inherits properties and behavior from one class to another class is nothing but the inheritance. Clear? And there are three types of inheritance that Java support. Single inheritance, multi-level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance. Okay. So basically, Java supports single, multi-level and hierarchical inheritance using classes. But Java doesn't support multiple inheritance using classes. So question comes that why Java doesn't support multiple inheritance? What is the reason behind it? Okay. So to understand it, first we need to understand what is multiple inheritance. And then we will see why Java doesn't support multiple inheritance. Okay. So multiple inheritance is the process in which a child class receives or inherits properties and behavior from more than one parent class. Now first let's think as a real life point of view. As we discussed earlier, son inherits properties and behavior from his father. But in reality, if we think son inherits properties and behavior from his father as well as from his mother also, right? So here son inherits properties and behavior for more than one parent class and it's nothing but the multiple inheritance. So if we think technically iPhone class inherits properties and behavior from both from iPhone 1 class as well as from iPhone 2 class also right. So here iPhone class is child class and iPhone 1 and iPhone 2 class are parent classes. So here iPhone class inherits properties and behavior from more than one parent class and more than one means multiple, right? So to inherit properties and behavior from more than one parent class is nothing but the multiple inheritance. Clear? Now let's discuss about why Java doesn't support multiple inheritance directly through an example. It will be easy to understand and don't worry, I will go very easy, okay? So first we are going to see why Java doesn't support multiple inheritance and then we will see how we can achieve multiple inheritance in Java. Okay. Now see here I have already created iPhone 1 class and iPhone 2 class and there are some method in iPhone 1 class and that are uh, connect call method and send message method. Okay. And some methods are defined in iPhone 2 class and it's connect call method and receive message method. Now I want to create one more class from iPhone 1 class and iPhone 2 class and it's suppose iPhone class okay. And now I want to inherit methods of iPhone 1 and iPhone 2 class into iPhone class. So for that first I will need to create inheritance or relationship between iPhone 1, iPhone 2 and iPhone class right. And we can create it by using extends keyword. So just write here extends keyword okay. And I want to inherit methods of both the classes, iPhone 1 and iPhone 2 class. And hence, I am going to extend here iPhone 1, comma, iPhone 2. So here, iPhone 1 and iPhone 2 are the parent classes. Okay. And iPhone is a child class. So basically here, I have extend two parent classes to single child class and it's nothing but the multiple inheritance. And when we extend any class, then methods of that class automatically available in child class. Similarly, all the methods of iPhone 1 and iPhone 2 class are automatically or by default available in iPhone class. And now let's define iPhone class method and suppose pickup call method. Okay. 
and let's print here call pickup okay now let's call all the methods by creating iPhone class object okay so here I have create a separate test class to put an executable code okay so here iPhone equals to new iPhone okay and here we have create iPhone class object because all the methods by default available in iPhone class and that's why iPhone class object can easily access all the methods of iPhone 1 and iPhone 2 class okay and now let's call all the methods using iPhone class object so iPhone dot connect call and iPhone dot send message and iPhone dot receive message and then iPhone dot pickup call okay now let's run the code let's see what will be the output okay now see here compiler is an error the method receive message is undefined for the type iPhone it means compiler couldn't recognize this receive message method because this method is present in iPhone 2 class okay okay and Java allow to extend only one class and not allow to extend more than one class okay and hence here compiler consider only iPhone 1 class and not consider iPhone 2 class and if I swap the class names here suppose if I write here iPhone 2 and here iPhone 1 then what will happen so your compiler will raise an error for this send message method because the send message method is present in iPhone 1 class okay and here iPhone 1 class is at second position after extend keyword right so compiler here consider only iPhone 2 class so let's check it out now let's run the code again now see here compiler raise an error for this send message method so basically java doesn't allow to extend more than one class it means java doesn't support multiple inheritance clear so it's clearly showing that java doesn't support multiple inheritance using classes now question arises that why java doesn't support multiple inheritance right so let us understand the reason behind it now see here we have call iphone dot connect call method okay but this method of same signature is present in both the classes in iPhone 1 class as well as iPhone 2 class. So when we call this method, then compiler first look for this connect call method in iPhone class because we have called this method using iPhone class object, right? And in iPhone class, compiler found two exact same copy of connect call method. That is, internally when we extend iphone 1 and iphone 2 class then copy of methods which are present in both iphone 1 and iphone 2 class will create in iphone class okay it happened actually internally so when we call this method then compiler look for this method in iphone class and there compiler found exact same copy of connect call method or we can say compiler found duplicate copy of connect call method and hence compiler get confused which method has to be called it's create ambiguity and ambiguity means confusion okay so it's become ambiguous for compiler and hence compiler raise an error and in java programming such type of problem is called diamond problem and due to this diamond problem java doesn't support multiple inheritance okay now again question arises that why it's called diamond problem why diamond word is used for this problem right so let's understand now see here suppose if i create one more class here and it's suppose simple phone class okay and let's create one method here and it's connect call method okay and now let's extend here phone class okay and extend here also one class okay now see here i have redefined this phone class method in iphone one class right and to redefine parent class method into a child class is nothing but the overriding right so basically here i have override phone class method in iphone one class right so here if we can see iphone one class extend phone class right iPhone 2 class extend 
phone class and here iphone class extends iphone 1 and iphone 2 class right so the connect call method is by default present in iphone class also right so basically this connect call method is present in all the classes and it's create a problem so if we notice here this inheritance hierarchy structure is looking like a diamond right and hence this problem is called as a diamond problem and due to this diamond problem java doesn't support multiple inheritance clear but we know that every problem has solution right similarly to solve this diamond problem we have also solution and solution is interface yes we can solve this problem using interface so let's understand how we can solve this diamond problem using interface. So just remove this phone class from here. I create it just to explain diamond problem. Okay. All right. Now see here instead of iPhone 1 class and iPhone 2 class, if I create iPhone 1 interface and iPhone 2 interface. Okay. And let's declare method inside an interface. Okay. So here I have just declared the methods, not define it inside an interface. Because all the methods in an interface are by default abstract and we cannot provide the implementation for abstract methods. So just we can declare method inside an interface. I'm talking about the earlier version of Java 8. Because Java version 8 onward, Java introduced default method also in an interface. And due to default method, same diamond problem will create. And then how we can solve this diamond problem with the help of default method we are going to see further in this tutorial okay so just concentrate here okay so i'm coming to the point all the methods in an interface are by default abstract right and hence we need to provide implementation for this abstract method in other classes so we can provide implementation in iphone class but before that we will need to implement the interfaces whose method we are going to implement in iphone class okay so implement so here i have implement i iphone 1 interface and iphone 2 interface and now let's provide the implementation for all the methods that are present in iphone 1 interface and iphone 2 interface let's provide implementation for connect call method okay so here just print here connecting Similarly, we can provide an implementation for send message method and receive message method. Okay. And here we are getting a red line error. And we are getting this red line error because all the methods in an interface are by default public. Right. So here we need to write public. Okay. And here also we need to write public. Now we can see the red line error has been removed. Now let's call all the methods by creating iPhone class object. Okay. So here I have already called all the methods using iPhone class object. Right. So let's run the code and let's see. Now see here code compiles fine and we got an output without any compilation error. Even though we have implements here more than one interface. Okay. It means java support multiple inheritance using interface now question comes that both the interface have same method of same signature still why ambiguity problem is not created there now let's understand the reason behind it okay now see here when we call this connect call method using iphone class object then then compiler look for this method in iphone class and compiler found only one implementation for this method in iphone class even though both interfaces have same method of same signature but implementation is only one right and we have provide only one implementation because requirement of both the methods is same and hence compiler don't get confused and hence there is no any ambiguity problem or diamond problem right so due to interface it become possible to achieve multiple inheritance in java and to achieve multiple inheritance using interface is one of the purpose of interface in java clear 
But as I said before, Java 8 version onward, Java introduced default method also in an interface. And how we can achieve multiple inheritance using default method, we will see in next tutorial. Okay. I hope you understand why Java doesn't support multiple inheritance using classes. And how we can achieve multiple inheritance using interface. Now I'm going to end this session. So keep learning, keep growing. And thank you so much for watching.